My name is Ashley Dickinson and this is my project. The title of my project is The Effects of, en of Enrichment on Warren Chicken's Behaviour. I had many aims in my project. My first aim was that the original chickens had feather loss. I wanted to find out the cause and stop it. But then we found out they had a disease so they had to be euthanised. When the new chickens came, I decided I wanted to prevent the feather loss from occurring again. Another aim of mine was that I wanted to complete my projects on time, spending as little money as possible. This is so the college could spend the money on other things which are essential for the animals. My experimental hypothesis was that the Warren chicken's behaviour changes with enrichment. My null hypothesis was that the Warren chicken's behaviour doesn't change with enrichment. Why I chose my project. I wanted to find out the cause of the feather loss and wanted to stop it from happening. I then wanted to prevent it from happening to the new chickens. This is so the chickens were in the best health possible. I grew up working on my granddad's farm. I was most interested in the chickens and I knew most about these animals. I picked enrichment as I was interested to learn about the different types that the chickens could have. If the enrichment changed their behaviour, I wanted to know if it was a positive, negative, or there was no change. It also helps with future employment, as it shows I have a, vi a wide variety of knowledge on the Warren chickens, their behaviour, and the materials they are allowed. I also chose it because I enjoy practical work and have a longer concentration span with practical. I learn things easier when completing practical rather than reading from an information source for long periods of time. Normal chicken behaviour. Preening, which is also known as grooming, keeps the feathers clean as they are important for insulation and waterproofing. They preen on their own but prefer to do it as a group activity. Foraging is a main normal chicken behaviour. It includes pecking and scratching at potential food sources along the ground. Dust bathing, this is when they roll or move around in dirt. It cleanses the skin and feathers of parasites, dead skin and other skin irritants. It also prevents buildup of oil from preening. Perching, this is when they jump to higher surfaces. The structure of the chicken's claws ensures a firm grip while perching. Responding to high temperatures. Chickens can tolerate cold weather better than hot. This is because they can't sweat. They cool themselves by dunking their beaks in cold water or flapping wings to air out feathers. They can also pant when desperate to cool down. Drinking. They must have access to clean fresh water. Water in the crop softens the beak so digestion can then take place. What is enrichment? It is providing natural activity like they would find in their natural habitat process of creating challenging environment to meet an animal's social, psychological and physical needs. It enhances animal activity, provides mental stimulation and can often contribute to improved performance by helping solve brain behavioural problems. It allows them to exercise control or choice over their environment and to enhance their well-being. What enrichment can chickens have? The chickens normally already have enrichment. It's a simple thing that aren't realised, which is cleaning out the coop and run and also collecting eggs. This changes the environment and chickens are intrigued by anything new. By letting the chickens out fuck. Sick. Start again. It's fine, I'll find out for it. The chickens already have enrichment. Simple things that aren't realised like cleaning out the coop and run and also collecting the eggs. This changes the environment and chickens are intrigued by anything new. Letting out of the coop is another enrichment. Compost piles. Chickens will dig up bugs. They are also warmed by the heat from decomposing material. Hanging cabbage. From a string at a height it provides a nutritional boost. It also prevents boredom from occurring. Interactive treat dispensers. This can simply be an empty bottle with holes in. This is then filled with food, so when the bottle is released, food. What em 
enrichment can chickens have? Chickens already have enrichment. This can be simple things which aren't realised, like cleaning out the coop and grunt and also collecting eggs. This changes the environment and chickens are intrigued by anything new. Blessing out of the coop is another enrichment. Compost piles. Chickens will dig up bugs, worn by the heat from the decomposing material. Hanging cabbage. From a string at a height, it provides a nutritional boost. It also prevents boredom from occurring. Interactive treat dispensers. This can simply be empty bottle with holes in. It is filled with food, so food is released when the bottle is moved. Dust bathing area. It can be a bucket, bin, old tyre filled with dirt for chickens to bathe in. It encourages them to use this rather than dig holes. It keeps the feathers clean and the oils in the feathers down. Climbing and perching places. These are preferably built under a tree. This is because trees provide protection for chickens. They are built out of branches, metal poles or wood. A mirror. Hung up made out of old CDs or anything with a reflective surface. Chickens enjoy their reflection and the rainbows that are sometimes given off it. Watermelon pumpkins and other large hard shell foods can be put out for your hens and it will keep them busy for hours. These foods can also be a healthy addition to their diet. What materials are chickens allowed? Chickens are allowed most materials for enrichment like wood, plastic and metal. This is because these don't contain anything harmful to the chickens. Some foods are toxic to chickens. These are plants from the nightshade family, which are potatoes, tomatoes and eggplants. Salty foods, this leads to water deprivation. Citrus, this builds up citric acid and vitamin C, which can cause excessive feather plucking. Onions, they contain a toxin called theosulfate, which dis destroys red blood cells. Dried or undercooked beans. Dried rice, this causes gut problems in chickens. Avocado skin and pit. Candy, chocolate, sugar, which is bad for their digestive tracts. And chocolate is poisonous to chickens. Apple seeds, these contain cyanide, which can kill chickens. My method. For the equipment, you will need two small car tires, which should be 188 centimetres in circumference and around 10 to 20 centimetres in depth. Five branches. There should be three 50 centimetre branches, one 100 centimetre branch, one 170 centimetre branch, curved if possible, and they should all be around 5 to 10 centimetres thick. Chicken food. Eat the ground for results. Three four inch nails and a hammer. First, the record table needs to be made. This should have a date at the top and for the results to be in order. It should also have 11 rows and five columns. The headings for the five columns should be behaviour, cockerel, red two, yellow one and green one. The headings under the behaviour should be foraging, rustling feathers, vocalisation, flapping wings, scraping feet, scratching face, jumping, eating food, head bobbing, another. When this table is made, the observations should be started. This should take place once a week and last for half an hour. This should be observed for three weeks. By carrying, around, carrying out around dinner time, each time show, ensures reliable results. You should stand where there is a clear view of the chickens, but so they aren't distracted. And you should stay in this place for the full 30 minutes. When the cockerel or chickens display a behaviour that's on the results sheet, it needs to be marked down in the tally chart format. Next is the enrichment. One tire should be placed next to the tree on the far right, about four feet away from the tree. It still allows chicken root, chickens room underneath the tree. For protection. The next tire should be in front of the tree on the left, around six feet away. The next enrichment is the perches. 
Two 50 centimetre branches should be put in the ground on the right side of the tree on the left. They should be placed 80 centimetres apart and they should be hitting ground with the hammer so they are roughly 10 centimetres in the ground. This ensures they are steady for the chickens. Once in the ground, the 100 centimetre branch is put on top and secured in place using the hammer and nails. The nails need to be hit through the branch into the top of the branches that are already in the ground. This means there should be two nails through each end. The other perch is now put in. The 50 centimetre branch is hitting the ground to around 10 centimetre is under the ground. It needs to be around 3 feet to the right of the first perch. The curved branch goes on top so the curved end is down resting on the ground. The nail should go around 85 centimetres across the branch. When all the enrichment is in place, observations should start again. It should be once a week, last for half an hour and continue for four weeks. These should also, ha should also happen around dinner time for reliable results. A handful of food should be scattered around next to the enrichment and feed, and the feeder should also be filled before observing. It ensures chickens receive all their enrichment at the same time. You should stand in a place where there's a clear view of but the chickens aren't distracted. When all the observations have been complete and recorded, the project is then finished. My conclusion. I have accepted my experimental hypotheses, which is the war on chickens' behaviour changes when enrichment. I have accepted this one because the cockerel became more vocal once enrichment was added into the enclosure. It also displayed the individual behaviours more often once enrichment was added. The chickens' behaviour also changed as they displayed very few individual behaviours once enrichment was added. Discussion. I found out that the cockerel increased behaviours after enrichment in foraging, rustling feathers, vocalisation, flapping wings and also scratching face. But it also decreased in scraping feet, jumping, eating food and also head bobbing. This is because there was food scattered on the floor, so the cockerel used the enrichment given. The chickens increased behaviours after enrichment in rustling feathers and flapping wings, but they decreased in foraging, vocalisation, scraping feet, scratching face, jumping, eating food and head bobbing. The weather affected the flapping wings as the weather became warm, which meant the chickens had to cool down. The cockerel became dominant all the enrichment, which meant the chickens generally tended to stick to displaying one behaviour for long periods of time. My strengths. I already had some knowledge on warren chickens, and I had this knowledge from working on my granddad's farm. This helped me when I was carrying out my project. Another strength was that I was prepared with what enrichment I was going to put in. I got the enrichment for free, which meant college could save money and spend it on something else. I could always speak to staff if I needed help. I made sure I had reliable results by feeding the chickens before observing once enrichment was in. Weaknesses I didn't plan out my contingency plan before I started my project. When chickens had been had the disease and the new chickens didn't come on time, I wasn't prepared. Someone had put dust baths in the enclosure, which meant I had to put enrichment in so my project didn't get ruined. This links back to my contingency plan, as it shows I wasn't prepared for it. I planned out my schedule of operations once I had already started my trial run, and I also didn't follow my schedule of operations as I was ahead of time. Areas for improvement. I should be more organised. I should have planned everything before I started my project. For example, contingency plan, the timing and what I'm going to do for each week. Follow the schedule of operations made. I should have took more pictures because it would have helped a lot and I should have put signs up if needs be. It would have stopped my project from becoming ruined.